Biscuit, are you ready for the season finale? Because I don't know if I am. Hey, hey, assistant coach. Actually, no, wait. My mic is not turned around towards me. Wait, nope, nope. We're going to do that again. We're going to do that again. Hey, hey, assistant coach. How are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. And welcome back to the Crystal Palace career mode. And this is the season finale. Yes, boys. This is the episode we all have been waiting for. I need you guys to bring the hype Hit that like button on this video. Let's get the season finale to 5,000 likes. I believe in it. And on top of it, boys, this is also episode Sheshnaist. That is uh, 16 in Bosnian. Let me know in the comments down below what episode 1 is for the next season. Or oh, actually, no, we're going to call it episode 17. What is episode 17 in your language? Comments down below, let me know. Going into this episode, boys, let's take a quick look at how the team is standing in the league table. Crystal Palace on 65 points. Two teams are chasing us down. They want us to drop out of the top four. It is Spurs and Arsenal, 65 and 64 points on them. In terms of goal difference, we are looking quite good at the moment. That is the reason why we are ahead of Spurs. But anything can happen. Anything can happen. We have one game left and that one is against Bournemouth. And you guys know for a fact we struggle more against the smaller teams in the league than we struggle against the bigger sides. I don't know why that is, but hey, that's just how it is. And in this season, we had an immense amount of fun with the team building. We had a lot of fun with um, growing our talents and also seeing where this team has started and where it has gone to. From the relegation zone into the Champions League zone, that is what this career mode is about. 5,000 likes. You can do it. I believe in you, boys. And now, let's go through a couple of comments from the last episode. Hashim Nusair says, Who are you with out of Liverpool and Bayern Munich in the Champions League round of 16? Over 240 people want to know what uh, uh, I would say in terms of my answer. Here's the deal, boys. I have been a Bayern fan since I was born. So I have seen Bayern win Champions Leagues a couple of times. But I haven't seen Liverpool win the Champions League. So if Bayern and Liverpool come across against each other, I think... I'm more leaning towards Liverpool, if I'm being completely honest. Because right now, I don't like the state of Bayern Munich. I absolutely dislike the coach, Kovac. He needs to go. I, I just don't like the way that we play. I don't like the way that the team is built. I don't like the way that they don't bring in any sick, high-rated, or not high-rated, high-profile players anymore. It, it feels like we have had the same team for 10 years. So hopefully, if Bayern actually do lose against Liverpool, there will be like a new spirit coming up. They will finally spend some money again and become the Bayern Munich that we all, or all of us Bayern Munich fans, used to love. So hopefully that will be happening. So yeah, if if Liverpool and Bayern come against each other and you are holding a gun to my head and you're saying, you know what, you have to decide right now, I'd have to say Liverpool. I wasn't a Liverpool fan back then when they were up against AC Milan in 2005, um, winning the Champions League. So that time I wasn't a Liverpool fan yet. Now that I am one, I would love to see the team succeed. And of course, I am more involved into the English community right now. So the Premier League is what I care more about. And the Bundesliga, I'm actually happy that Bayern are not winning the title. Because again, of the same reasons that I mentioned before. Also because no one is watching the Bundesliga as long as Bayern keeps on winning the league title. All of a sudden, Dortmund is getting close. Everyone is watching the Bundesliga again, so just saying, I think that's a smart move from Bayern Munich. But um, here's another one from Ibar Ibrahim. He says, Johnny, don't forget to buy on a pre-contract Mishibachuayi before you end the season. Sorry if I spelled his name wrong. Yes, guys, one day before the season ends, we have to go ahead and offer Mishibachuayi a pre-contract. Hopefully, I don't forget. If I do, I you guys have the permission to punch me in the face, all right? And then the next comment right here, is from Adrian Acosta. He says, look into Kieran Tierney for left back. A lot of you guys throughout so many career modes have kept on suggesting this man. So finally, this might be his chance to join into one of our career modes. Exciting prospect. We're going to scout him and we're going to add him to a short list and we're going to see what happens with this man. Maybe we can get him into the squad. Now, finally, boys, the last episode, the last time you see the fan objectives for season one. The new Ronaldo has been finished. The super sub 
definitely not happening. I'm not scoring six goals with the super subs in two games. Um, so I will have to do the ice bucket challenge. So yeah, that's going to be cool. That's going to be amazing. Can't wait for that one. You guys probably can't wait for that one as well. Uh, oh God, this is going to be so terrible. Um, I will have to do that one for sure. The Van Bissaka one, only one more scorer point in two games it should be done we have to get it done if i have to play van Bissaka as a striker i'm gonna do it i'm so sad that he missed the penalty in the last episode and there was a hidden message apparently that my uh, editor would actually quit if i do miss that penalty he gave me his one week's notice uh the best friends forever seven out of ten technically it's possible but I don't believe in it. Let's be honest. I just don't believe in it. So yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Um, the Townsend's Rocket, it's looking very bad. It's looking very, very bad. I only have two more games to go and I have to score a volley from outside the box on a green timing. Good luck with that. Genuinely, good freaking luck with that. There's no way I'm getting that one done. If I get it done somehow and it's like a yellow time shot, I am going to be freaking out genuinely. If that happens, we will have to talk about if that counts or not, because I don't know why I said green timing. That's just stupid. I should have said score a volley from outside the box. That's it. it. It shouldn't have been green timing, but hey, I wrote it that way. If it does happen, you guys will have to decide. But now it's more important that we focus on this game against Bournemouth, boys. This is the season finale. Let's get freaking hyped and let's get straight into this game against Bournemouth and let's smash the place up, all right? Now, these boys are going for a Champions League spot. Can they get it done? Yes or no? You're going to see it in just a second. Let's go. Crystal Palace against Bournemouth. We are playing at home. It couldn't have been better. And after this, we are playing against Manchester City, the FA Cup final. Ah, boys, Crystal Palace, can they get it done? We have been struggling against these smaller teams. Bournemouth in the 11th position, lower league table. I gotta get this done. This is the best opportunity. If I get a if I get a draw, I don't think it's gonna be enough. We have to win. Hold on. Did Zaha just shake hands with absolutely nobody? I think Zaha just shook hands with no one. They're trying to play mind games on me. EA, you're not getting me this time. Calvert Lewin playing down the right hand side for them. That's an interesting one. And here they come with you. You cuts back. Van Bissaka gets the ball, loses it again. That's a good pass again. Bournemouth very dangerous can I get to this oh no I don't like this at all I do not like this I'm switching players unnecessarily oh god this is terrible Smith down the wings there's too much space the cross is coming in Gbamin gets it and we push forward on the counter this could be good this could be very good Zaha is through come on oh my god why am I doing this? It's the most important game of the season and I'm going for objectives. I need to stop. I need to stop right now. I need to score my first goal and then I can focus on objectives. This is this is just not smart. Leao. Nandez. Zaha. Come on. This is the one. This time we're not doing the volley. This time we are finessing it around the goalkeeper. Come on. It's 1-0. Crystal Palace is in a Champions League right now. If it stays like this, Crystal Palace will be taking part in the Champions League in the second season of our career mode. Absolutely beautiful finish right there. Great counter-attacking football. Their fullback, which is Nathaniel Klein, has been caught out of position. Let's go. There goes Leao, Leao into Van Bissaka, who cuts inside. He's still going strong. Passing it in. Ah, that's a terrible attempt for me. No, that's a good run. Bournemouth. Ooh, I don't like this at all. Nathaniel Klein cuts back. He's not. Is he going to cross it in? No, he's not. Yes, we got the ball. First half belongs to Crystal Palace. No real attacks or threats have been shown by Bournemouth so far. But obviously, one chance and one goal is enough to get away from us and or take away the top four finish from us so we have to make sure that we go ahead and score one more Sander Berger, lazy Rafael, Zaha, Zaha come on mate come on Zaha keep going keep going Zaha from our, well, why is Nandez getting on it why is Nandez getting on it bro that was not my aim Kaut Lewin running down the wings he's cutting back inside and that one wasn't good 
Sanda. Sanda now pushing forward with players chasing him down. Sanda Berger plays it into Rafael. Rafael has Zaha in support. Zaha cuts in. Zaha going strong still. Zaha. Yes. Good stuff. Come on. El Tornado. Oh, it was a volley. It was a volley. Sadly, I didn't time it correctly. That was really good with his left foot, actually. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, God, no. Hermoso, please. Hermoso, please. Hermoso, please. It's Dom Solanke. I'm losing this. I'm losing this. Dom Solanke scores. Hermoso, not strong enough to push him off. Unbelievable. Gaita beaten at the near post again. 64th minute. What am I doing now? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm bringing on Dodo, boys. And I am bringing on no one else. Dodo is the only one. We're going to put Van Bissaka at right wing. Nah, I need the goal. I can't I can't risk it. I can't risk it. I need the goal right now. We're going for 1-2 or 2. Let's see how we play now. Come on, then. We need one goal. One goal separates us from the Champions League or not. I need support, though. There goes Van Bissaka. Van Bissaka. Can he cross it to the far post? Yes, he can. It was a deflection. Van Bissaka again trying to get back onto the ball. I feel like the time was running out a lot faster now. This is not good. Dodo plays it back into Solanke. What a ball that is. Don't tell me we're going to concede one more, please. Yes, Sanda. Beautiful tackle. Van Aanholt plays it through. Joao. What is that pass, Joao? What the hell is that pass? Here they come again. Yes, Nandes with the steal. Come on, Nandes. Play it through. Leao played again. Zaha. Zaha stops. Played back in. I see someone making a run down the right-hand side. It's a terrible attempt at a pass from me. But they have to kick it away. Uh, we have a, a couple of seconds left here. A couple of seconds. I'm going to bring on Ayu. I'm going to bring on Ayu. Rafael Leao is coming off. Ayu is coming on. Riedewald is coming on for Berger. <sighs> come on, man. Please. Please. I beg. I can't. I can't. After all this hard work, I can't. Dodo. Bring the ball in. Joao. Yes. Riedewald. Good pass. Play it back. Ayu is running through. Nandes plays it into him. There we go. Zaha. Zaha. I lost the ball. Oh my god. No. This is terrible. This is terrible. Come on, Joao. Come on, Joao. You can defend. You cannot defend. What is that, Joao? All right. Five minutes. Five minutes. I don't know if I can get this done. I don't know if I can get this done. I don't know if I have the, if I have the power. Are you plays it through? We have Joao in there. That is not Joao. That is Dodo. Dodo in a great position. Plays it back. I don't even know what to do here. Zaha. <gasps> no. 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 I just drew. I just drew against Bournemouth. I don't think we're in the top four. I genuinely don't believe that we are in the top four. The fans are celebrating, but I don't believe in it. We would need Spurs and City to drop points. Dude, this is too intense. I don't know. I don't know if we made it. I genuinely don't know. I bottled it. 90th minute chance with Zaha and I bottled it, man. How did they play? How did they play? Show it to me. City 1-2-0. Spurs 1-2-1. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, unbelievable, man. I am so sad. I genuinely am so freaking sad. We get 161 million. Let's take another look into the final league table. We missed out by two points, man. Right at the end of the season. <laughs> oh my god, I can't cope with this, you know. I, I just... I was so happy. I was so freaking happy that I that I could get things done with this team. I know this team is nowhere near the finished product, 
This will just show you that there will be more than just two seasons in a Crystal Palace career mode, boys. Next season, we are going to be going into the Europa League and we're going to win it. That's my goal, Europa League. We're going to win it and we're going to make sure that we qualify for the Champions League when we do win it. And also, I'm going to be finishing in the top four next season. I'm going to be challenging for the title. We're only seven points behind Manchester United. And now, we are up against Manchester City. Here's the deal. The FA Cup, I genuinely couldn't care less about it because if you win it you qualify for the Europa League we're already qualifying for the Europa League so here's the deal I'm gonna be focusing on the objectives that is what I'm going to be doing Conor Morgan wants out oh oh that's important hold on we gotta sign the young man Conor Morgan is our future goalkeeper we are signing him promoted to senior team beautiful beautiful right there um, we have new targets for the future seasons. If you guys wanted the Crystal Palace series to last at least three seasons, this is the moment where it has changed. Yes, we are going for at least two more seasons after season one. So if you guys are happy about that, I guess um, that's, that's very nice. But um, I'm really upset that we didn't make it into the Champions League. Um, we're going to go ahead and play against Manchester City in a little bit. Let's train our players before we get in there. I am disappointed, yes, but also I have to realize that we have done an insane job. We have done an amazing, amazing job at Crystal Palace in terms of the Premier League because we have moved from the relegation zone into the top five. That is very respectable. Really good job from our team in those games um, where we grinded against the bigger sides. But again, my venom, it has happened again. We have lost or we have dropped points against one of the lower league table teams. Why is Gaeta the, um, what is he, goalkeeper of the tournament? Is he the goalkeeper of the Premier League? Hold on, I gotta see this for a second. Is he actually the best goalkeeper in the Prem? Why is he not showing anything? He actually has been selected best goalkeeper in the Prem. If they only knew that this guy was conceding the worst near post goals, man. Our player of the competition is Hazard. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. We have Zaha in the team of the week, though. Well, I guess now we will focus on the objectives. Van Bissaka. That's the one that we are chasing. We need one more assist with him and the volley from Townsend. Those are the two that I will be focusing on in this game. I'm not focusing on anything else. I could lose 6-0. I genuinely don't care. I care more about these fan objectives and I'm so happy that I do. Honestly, the fact that we have brought these fan objectives in have made these career modes twice as good in my personal opinion and twice more enjoyable for myself as well because I have different targets to go after. So, Bambi Saka, get ready. Volleys, get ready. For the volleys, I'm gonna switch sides in between Townsend and Zaha because when I cut inside with Townsend, I can do the El Tornado hit it. Uh, with Townsend, I can just go ahead and lob it up and try and hit it, I guess. Um, how good is Joao Felix's volleys? Is he decent at volleys? He's not the best. How about Townsend? Who is the best at volleys in my team? Townsend, 70 volleys. Well, I guess they haven't seen him take that shot. And, um, oh yeah, all of them are actually quite terrible. What about Rafael Leal? Can you take volleys? Yes, Leal is one of the best on volleys. So we got to see what we can do in this game. Let's jump in there against Manchester City and let's get these objectives done. Look at those skills by these boys. Nice, nice. Keep it up, keep it up. No one's fought letting it drop. That's nice to see. Ah, see? Leroy Sané already dropped it. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne is taking Bernardo Silva apart right there. Let's jump into this game. Man City, obviously a massive, massive team, but going into these games against the bigger sides, I'm much less scared than when I play against the lower league table teams because I know for a fact that I can beat these teams <laughs> for the other teams. I cannot say so. That ball is ugly, by the way. Sterling now running forward. Raheem cuts back, plays it back. Bernardo, beautiful passing play from our opponents so far. Oh God, this is really bad. Oh wow, okay. Well, Manchester City take the lead in the seventh minute in the FA Cup final, despite not really caring. I still somehow care about the fact that I conceded this early into this game. Okay, uh, I guess City really want this trophy. All right, let's try and focus up here. Let's see if we can get the equalizer. That's a that's a bullet of a shot. Again, near post against Gaeta. Not going to say anything about it. Okay, City, you need to calm down, City. You need to calm down. Bernardo Silva taking yet another shot. 
City is getting too close to the second before I even get to touch the ball. Their passing play is insane. Bring it inside and we bring it outside again. And then we bring it inside again and inside again. And then over to Van Bissaka. Van Bissaka. Come on. Stop. Someone needs to be there. Yes, that's the one. Yes, that's the one. Van Bissaka, 10 assists. Let's freaking go. Sorry, 10 score of points. Yes, boys. One objective has been finished. Oh, God, thank you. I don't need to do the freaking Obi-Wan outfit. Let's go. Please count that as an assist for him. I genuinely hope it counts as an assist. If not, I'm going to be so upset. Let me check that real quick. Player ratings. Please tell me. Yes. Come on. It's an assist. It's 10 out of 10 for Van Bissaka. What a beast. All right. Now. I can try and score three goals in between Rafael Leao and Joao Felix, which is not going to happen. Or I can try and focus on Townsend's rocket. That is something that I would love to get done. It's going to be really hard though, but I'm going to try. Van Misaka gets another steal. He's pushing forward now. Oh, this could be the best friends. This could be the best friends. This could actually be it. I hit the crossbar. Wow, beautiful. Joao on the bicycle kick. Nandez, Leo. Can we please count that? Can we please count that as the Townsend's rocket? <laughs> Dude, that might just be the best goal we have scored. That is unbelievable. I tried with Joao first and I was like, nah, it's not gonna happen. Can we please count that? I beg, <laughs> guys, I beg, can we count that as the Townsend's rocket? Because that goal is ridiculous. And it's very close to outside the box. Let's, let's take another look at it. I think it was good enough. I think it was good enough. How close is it to outside the box? So it's dropping here. I mean, come on. That is insane. Look at Rafael Leal on the bicycle kick. That is unbelievable. Oh my god, what a goal that is. 2-1, Crystal Palace actually going for the FA Cup title, I guess. Can we please count it? <laughs> That's just such a shame that that doesn't work towards any of the forfeits. I'm actually so disappointed. Oh god, here they come again. Bernardo, Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva is the best shot taker in the Premier League, apparently. The guy's insane. First of all, he takes a shot, power shot into the near post, which looks realistic to me. But what about this shot right here? Let's talk about this shot, please. Because that doesn't make any sense. Look at his shot. It goes, oh, oh my, what? What is the curve? What is actually the curve on that shot? Look at this. That is, he shoots with his outside of the foot and he just goes further and further away from Gaeta. It's basically me against Bernardo Silva in this game, not the rest of this team. All right, here comes Bernardo Silva, plays it. It's 3v1, beautiful. I'm trying to cover the passing lanes here, and it's Bernardo Silva, but I mean, this time, he gets in. Oh, this could be it. Oh, I know that was stupid. I know that was stupid, but I timed it green. At least I did time it green, and the technique on that one from Zaha was actually pretty decent, you know? Was that actually close? Nah, I don't think it was, but that was a good shot. I tried. Here we go, Zaha, Joao. I see that run. That's a header. And it hits the post. Wow, I thought I was trying to go for a volley, but Nandez actually does hit the post right before half time. 2 2 against Manchester City so far. I still am going for that Townsend's rocket. I genuinely don't want blue and red hair. It's going to look awful. So let's try our best right here. Come on. We have one more half. 45 minutes. We can get it done. I believe. Van Aanholt misses the tackle. Hermoso. Sane on the header. And of course, it's a goal. It's 3-2. Manchester City take the lead again. Crystal Palace, after taking the lead 2-1, have actually enabled the comeback right there. Van Bissaka with bad positioning, and I just don't understand how Sané is capable of hitting that one in from that far out. Just doesn't make sense. I scored the most beautiful goal, and it doesn't count for nothing in this game. Unbelievable. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Come on. Stop it now. Please. Yes, Hermoso. 70 minutes past Gabriel Jesus with the, one of the worst shots I've seen in a long time. We're going to make some changes. 
Um, Zaha is going to stay on because of the El Tornado. Rafael Leao has a good volley on him, so we might, we might be getting a chance there. Dodo is coming in for Berger. Come on. Oh, God, no. Gwamin, come on, Gwamin. You need to do a better tackle, man. Gundogan smashes it in. 4-2 for Manchester City. Ah, we're getting absolutely destroyed in this episode, aren't we? That is very unfortunate. Sorry, guys. I thought the, I thought the season finale would be better than this. Ah, I thought I could lift it up there. 4-2 for Manchester City. FA Cup final. I don't think we're getting it done. We might be able to get into extra time if we can score two goals really quickly. That's an awful pass. What am I doing? Plays it back into Dodo. Dodo plays it back into Ayu. Come on, Ayu. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Ayu is on the run. He stops. Cuts back. Plays it. Dodo. What am I doing, man? Come on. Rafael. Plays it back. Dodo. Dodo running through. Come on, Dodo. Stop. Play it back inside. Are you near post? Nope. That's it. We have lost against Manchester City in the FA Cup final. If we would have scored there, maybe there was a chance to come back into this game. But from this point on, it's basically Manchester City just holding on to the ball and wasting time, I guess. What can I say, man? It's a sad way to end the season, sadly. Uh, things didn't go as well as I was hoping. I was hoping for a Champions League spot. It didn't work out. I was hoping for the Townsend's rocket objective. It didn't work out. We only got three out of six done. And I have to do three forfeits. I have to do the forfeit for the super sub. I have to do the ice bucket challenge. I have to do the forfeit for the best friends. I have to show you guys my freaking FIFA 13 videos, which were awful. And then also on top of it, I have to dye my hair red and blue for an episode. Oh God, this is going to be terrible. I'm going to become a meme again. City, stop celebrating. Well, after all, let's be a little bit more positive. We have had an amazing, amazing season. Yes, I failed a couple of objectives, but still we have gone from relegation zone into the top five. We have qualified for the Europa League. We are slowly building a side that can definitely hold their own in the Premier League. Right now, as you can tell, we have no player above the 80 plus rating apart from our captain Zaha. There is so much to work for in this team. There's so much that will be changing in the squad, especially on the bench in the next season. We are going to be bringing in some super subs. Right now, we have absolutely zero of them. We have no player that can come into the game and score apart from Jordan Ayew. And Jordan Ayew sadly isn't as good as I would I was hoping he was he was. At the beginning of the uh, season, he was actually playing really well. By the way, English. Uh, that was a great sentence right there. Hopefully next season things will be changing for us. I'm pretty sure it will be. Uh, we have a lot of good and amazing talents in the squad and now it's all about bringing in Batshuayi into the club on pre-contract and then after that we're going to focus on a couple of things in the squad. We're going to take a look into the growth. We're going to take a look into the stats of the players and we're going to make some decisions as well. First of all there is a lot of contract expiring. Uh, Jordan Ayew is actually leaving because he was out on loan in the team. Topper, Henry, Weber, Flanagan, Brian, Dwyer, Tavares, Innes, Mitchell, all of those guys, all of the dead wood in the team is gone. Those guys, I'm not extending contracts at all with those players. Hey, we do get a scout report actually before the season ends. Kleber Meneses. I love that name. I don't know why. 44 to 60 overall, 70 to 94 potential, signed. 72 to 94 potential, signed. 88, nope, bye bye. Oh, 71 to 94 again. All right, 75 to 94. What's his name? Breno Fernandez. <laughs> All right, we got another Breno Fernandez, boys. And then we, this one, we're just, we're just gonna keep, I guess. Let's sign him, anyways. Ah, uh, no, rejected. Boys, we have brought in like three insane talents. That is interesting. Let's take a look at their stats right now. Um, Rossi, 55 rated. Azevedo 59, Cabral 52, Meneses 52 rated sadly, um, Felipe Silvera 58, Concesao 55, Edson Reis 44, that is terrible but he's a CDM, uh, Breno Fernandez 61 rated with good value, I guess we have found ourselves yet another beastly Breno Fernandez. We have gotten a scat report on Kieran Tierney, he is 79 rated, 13 million is his value, he has a release clause of 29.4 which is quite high. 
but we're going to keep an eye on him. Uh, I do want to replace Van Arnold, and Tierney might be the perfect player for that. Finally, he could make it into one of our career mode teams. So just so you guys know, I'm keeping my eyes on him for sure. All right, guys, here we are now on the 29th of June. That is the day where apparently Bacuayi is back at Chelsea. And we're going to try and sign him on pre-contract if possible. Bacuayi, can we sign you? He's still out on loan. Guys, you told me that I can get him. Is it the last day, like legit the last, last day where I can get him? Is any of these guys on pre-contract? They're all on approach to buy. Okay, well, uh, we have one more day to go, but I don't think... I don't think we will have the chance to buy him then. It's June, July, that's the last day. I'm going to see in a second, but before we do that, I just want to make sure that I can go through these stats first. So in terms of goals scored this season, Zaha has been the best in 45 games. He has scored 18 goals and gotten himself six assists. Now, obviously, we do need many, many more goals from one player in order to be successful in the Premier League. We need someone to step up to that next level. And Rafael Leal so far has grown by plus seven, which is obviously amazing. I love that. But... Um, he has only scored 14 goals and got himself six assists in the past few episodes though We have seen what Rafael Leal is capable of so we're gonna see what happens on that one um, Townsend right here has been playing really well. I was surprised about how good he was Joao Felix nine goals nine assists 80 rated This guy is an absolute monster and I cannot wait until he grows even more Jordan Ayu obviously is leaving us seven goals six assists not too bad actually Nandes 13 assists from that center midfield spot he seems to be enjoying his position, has grown by plus three as well. Uh, Dodo as a super sub has done quite well for our team. But in terms of growth, let's check out who has grown the most. I would say it is Rafael Leal with plus seven. Then Joao with plus six. Alvarez with a plus five. The youth academy talent that we have is actually growing along nicely. And he's growing in a lot of his stats as well, including stamina, which is nice to see because we are not touching him too much uh, with the training sessions. Amaral right here is growing plus three for him. Flanagan, don't care about him. Anyone else that we care about here? Hermoso has grown by plus three this season. That is actually nice to see. He has been a beast of a center back. I wish he could have stopped the uh, attacker in that last game where we conceded. Guamina has actually grown to an 81 right at the end of the season. Van Bissaka to a 78. He is slowly, slowly becoming a much better player for us, for sure. The stamina is improving, which is very important for him. His stamina just isn't good enough. So, on the last day, you guys said, I can apparently buy him, but I can't... Why can't I do anything? Don't do this to me. On the last day, don't you dare do this to me. Oh, thank God it has worked out. Oh, I thought it got stuck, bro. I genuinely thought it got stuck and I didn't save anything. Okay, maybe this is the day. Oh, we can only approach to buy. They extended his contract, dudes. It's not happening. It's just not happening. I thought you guys, you guys were right, but apparently on transfer deadline day, they have the chance to extend his contract. That sucks. That really does suck. But Strakosha and Pereira will be joining us next season. That will be a big boost, especially in the midfield position. Andreas Pereira, I do expect him to do well in our team. I can't wait for those signings to come in. Let's take a look into their stats right now. And with that, we're going to be ending the episode. All right, here we are in the next season, boys. And if we do go further, just one step. This doesn't count as a new season episode, by the way. New season episode will be coming in quite soon enough. Uh, we're going to move ahead one day which will take us into the um, preseason tournament and then after that we will be able to see the Andreas Ferreira and also the Strakosha statistics. I'm very much looking forward to see how good those guys will be for our team. We're going to be accepting the one that gives us the most money 6.69 right there for next season. The squad Let's see how good he is. Joao Felix actually grew to an 80 right there. Oh here he is. Strakosha 82 rated. I thought he was he was higher rated but we're going to be bringing him in into the starting lineup. Gaeta hasn't been good enough in my opinion. And Pereira right here is 79 rated. Very, very, very talented player. Very well balanced stats on him as well. Four star, four star. Can't wait to use him. Now here is the deal, my friends. We have money. We have to spend it. Good. 117 million. As my camera turns off, as always. Thanks, camera. Uh, we have 117 million to spend. 
on a lot of things. So go ahead and let me know where do we spend the money? Who do we bring into the team? I am very excited about this next season. I can't wait and I hope you are as well. See you next time for the beginning of season two. Peace.